Let's bring it right back down to our spearing level. Um, what's one of the most captivating times or experiences you've had in the ocean? Oh man, I couldn't put it down to one. Can you think couldn't of a, Can you think of a, like a fish or a stalk that you did that just really stands out to you? Like, it doesn't have to be even an amazing fish. Just like a, just an amazing hunt. Um, probably my first shark encounter. Um, diving off the Omaha coast. Um, from the South Island, done the trip up, um, and I found put down a, a little bit of a burley off the front edge of this rock, um, and I'd gone down to check the burley, and it just been completely shifted out to a different spot. So I did a deeper drop out to the side, and then a bit of a sort of stalk up over to try and find this burley. And sure enough, out the back there was a really nice, nice snapper, which always gave me a stiffy. Being a South Island man, oh, it just gets me so excited. Yeah. Um, so I was lined up on that, and I was yet to ever see a shark, a proper shark in the water. Um, and as I was pushing out to line up on the snapper, just this bronzy just came cruising out from the side here that I and I'd never seen one. I was like, oh shit, <laughs> that's what a bronzy looks like. Ugh, snapper shark, snapper shark, snapper shark. I'm not past enough on that snapper. Let's just pull the trigger and see what happens. Shot this fish and this. Bronzy comes out, swims up over my head and managed to land this eight and a half kilo snapper. So oh, wow. just, just the, the, the first one that sort of sticks to my mind is, is definitely that one, just sort of having that sort of excitement level. There's that cocktail of emotion of the excitement of seeing this awesome snapper um, as well as seeing the shark all in, all in the same breath. Um, yeah, yeah that, that, was, that was pretty cool, man. That was pretty cool. But yeah, yeah. been lucky enough to see some wicked stuff with, with, with the boys and, with the show. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. We'll talk about a couple more. I think one thing like with spearing is like, you know, you do a freediving course and it's all about relaxation and getting zen. And then spearfishing, you you need to do that too, but then you get on the bottom and you got the excitement of the hunt. And it's just like, you know, no wonder no one's got beyond a 30-second breath of when they start. You know, like, it's just, it's hard, you know, trying to contain it and and um and shoot that fish for a lifetime. You know, whatever that fish is for you, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah, definitely, definitely. As you get on, it almost helps having having that reward dangled in front of you. You know, like you do those breath holds where you know there's not much happening, you know. Um, and you end up coming up a little bit earlier than say you see that fish hanging out the back and you just forget about the contractions in your throat and all that sort of <laughs> and the need to breathe, or the fact that you've got a 20, 30 need to swim back up to the surface no matter what happens. Yeah. Talk about yeah. safety then. Since we're, we've uh, we've delved into it, might as well just keep going with controversy and then back to fun again. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you started it. You mentioned contractions <laughs> Sorry, and being on the bottom. No, 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 it's all good. It's just like I feel like if we touch on it, we've got to cover off um, what we preach and then what we do to minimise risk. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, the best thing is, for me anyway, I've been real lucky. Just, a lot of my diving has been with really experienced guys. Um, the Dwayne Herberts and your Julian Hansfords. We've got Karen. We've got Tim Barnett. Um, you've got some, some wicked dudes who we, we filmed this show with. And they've all been through the bullshit, man. And lucky I started diving with them when I was a little bit younger. And they've done all the cowboy shit. They've learned their lessons. And they've put in together some really good practices to mitigate all of that. And I've been exposed to all of that for a lot of my diving, which is which has been great. Um, we haven't had any issues on the show. All of these boys have they've had their blackouts and plenty of funky chickens and rescuing mates and losing mates and all that sort of carry on. And it's been a, a good environment to be around. So it's, for me, it's been implemented off the bat. Um, but yeah, just a good buddy system, not pushing your limits, understanding your buddy's limits, um, and having good things, your things set and set in play, um, just in case something does go wrong. We've got good stuff on the boat. Um, I love the locks of oxygen, uh, a proper dedicated um, first aid kit that covers all sorts of situations, including a tourniquet and understanding and learning how to use all of that. We're heading to Minerva Reef and uh, we're, we're waiting for some nice weather in, in May. And so we're all learning up on um, what's a, what could go wrong with a shark bite because it's a really notoriously sharky spot. Um, and But yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, cool. That's good. Like, yeah, like I think experience does shape so much of of our safety. So, like, it's it's just worth touching on. 
We've all been in that situation where you're on the bottom and you're getting discomfortable or uncomfortable, sorry, and then, you know, you, you know, you, but you just want that extra bit of hunt time. And like a lot of guys, older Spiros will say, don't do a freediving course because, you know, you learn the skills to drive a Ferrari, but that's not really what we do spearfishing. We drive a Toyota Corolla around the streets and we've got a 50 kilometer speed limit. You know, and here you are, you've been out to a racetrack and you've driven it at 280 kilometers an hour and we don't really need you to do that. We just need you to, <laughs> you know, stop at the stop sign, use the giveaway, you know, like the crude analogy. But, you know, it is kind of it. Like we're just going to dive all day long. Generally, like every dive, we're never approaching anywhere near our actual actual capabilities and that's why we are able to do it all day. Yeah, man. Yeah, and that's bag on. That's a, yeah, that's a good analogy. That's correct. Yeah, no, that's um, yeah, no, that's, that's that's dead right. That's dead right. That sort of the fundamentals of I do recommend doing some sort of course. I think there's a paddy course that's run over here that's that's um really well, um really well received and just sort of getting that base understanding of the physiology of diving, what your body's actually going through in the water and um and all that sort of care is definitely good to take with you, but nothing really beats first hand experience. Mm-hmm.